Welcome to a predictive analytics session provided by Predictive Solutions. Predictive analytics, safety truth number two. So in my last session, I talked about how by increasing the number of audits, inspections, and observations can impact people getting hurt. In today's session, we're going to talk about how we need to not only increase the number, but we also have to increase the participation and diversity of the observers. So safety truth number two focuses on increasing participation, in other words, getting a number of different people to do observations, inspections, audits, as well as getting a number of different types of people from the organization to do observations. So what we found from our research is that the locations that have a number of different observers going out there doing observations have fewer injuries. So that's kind of like everyone going out with a different camera in their head taking a picture. You know, we get a better idea of what's going on in our culture. Um, now, interestingly, what that would say is that all we need to do is hire a whole lot of safety people to go out there and do observations and we'll be fine. But in fact, what we found is that the locations that had all of their observations or audits being done by safety professionals have a higher number of injuries. Now, that might sound counterintuitive, but really what it says to me is that there's no buy-in from the rest of the organization. In fact, if you look at this graph, it'll show that the locations that had more operations involvement uh, from uh, corporate, from the office, from management, from the field, from the line, uh, they have fewer number of injuries. So safety truth number two really says that if we increase the number of different people doing observations as well as increase the amount of observations from different levels within the organization, we're going to impact injuries. So again, within safety net, if something is seen as out of the ordinary from a predictive model, you'll get a red flag. So you click on index percentile, and within that, we might be able to see why this location got red flagged. You can see that the only people doing observations are the designees. And in this case, designees are the safety professionals. So not only are the designees doing observations, but no one else is participating, which are your non-designees. So that tells me that safety is being put on the shoulders of the safety professional. Nobody else has buy-in. Now, you can also look at the project dashboard. We have a little icon here that shows the amount of different auditors, in this case, uh, has been going down consistently over the last four weeks. So to me, that's a red flag that says, hey, i got to go and see what's going on because nobody is doing observations or nobody is really participating. You can also look at the observer summary, and in this case, you can see that you do have three people doing observations within the last uh, 30 days, but we're getting the most observations from Nate. Now, Nate may be the best observer out there, but it's giving us kind of a biased sampling, whereas everyone else is not participating at all. So we have a cultural issue going on there. So in this session, I want to make sure that you understand that it's just not increasing the number of observations. Nate may be great, but we want to get a lot of different eyes out in the field, not only from safety, but also from operations, and office, and you know, corporate. Because if we can do that, we can improve our ability to predict and prevent injuries.